friends and family and supporters. Um, I had a little thought that I wanted to share with you, so I thought I would make another video. Um, and the only time I can do things like that are late at night after the kids are in bed. And it's been a very long day, but such is the life of a crazy, busy mom. So um, I just wanted to share with you about the um, American Women of Service pageant they have a national platform program called Creating a Respectful Environment. Um, the acronym is actually Crown Cares, and it's Creating a Respectful Environment. And this was also a clincher for me when I was looking to get involved in pageantry again and doing some research. Um, I was very impressed with um, their core value structure, but this was really the clincher for me, that this was their national platform. I thought this is totally something I can get behind. So um, I think especially in this day and age of such a divided world that we live in, um, only good can come from the efforts that we could put behind to create a respectful environment. So. I was thinking about this uh, the other day and I wanted to share with you the concept of, um, I call it shopping cart karma. So I came up with this idea years ago, I think when I was like shopping at Walmart in El Paso, Texas, when my first daughter was, was itty bitty and I feel like a lot of times you get all the way inside and you get the cart with like the really cruddy wheel and you can't make it through the store. And so I came up with this like thought process. I was like, you know what? I'm always going to grab a shopping cart out the one that's like not in the little return bin, but one that's like, you know, uncorralled out in a parking spot or just like the worst spot. Even when I had a little baby, I was like, I'm going to take whatever crappy cart there is out there. And nine times out of 10, that cart wouldn't have a crappy wheel. So I called that like the shopping cart karma. Like, you know, you do the good thing and you get rewarded by not having the credit card. I don't know if that's really a thing or not, but I always kind of laugh to myself. I'm always thinking about shopping cart karma, but, but the, the concept really just popped into my head the other day because I was thinking, so this is an example of a little thing that we all go to the store, whatever the grocery store, Costco, whatever, all these places that have these shopping carts. And, um, so many have left our band, you know, so many are left abandoned in all these weird spots in the, in the parking lot. But you know, what can we do? What little things can we do in our world every day that actually can have a big impact? And it might sound like kind of a goofy concept, but starting with the shopping carts. So, um, ask anybody in my family, like, this is what we do. Like we always go round up all the, the errant carts, even, you know, with the kids or my husband or whatnot and bring them in, you know, I'm going in, I might as well take one whenever I see somebody that's, you know, unloading their stuff. I'm like, Oh, let me take your thing for you. So, you know, it's just a little step. And so I just wanted to encourage you all to think about, you know, uh, I think creating a respectful environment is, you know, probably a common value that we all hold in the something that we would all think is important. And if there are little things that we can think about every day that we could do in our own little way, um, you don't have a lot of time to invest in, um, in things outside of family and work and career and the, the activities that we already do, but there are little things that we can do in our own little spheres every day. And maybe practicing a little shopping cart karma might not be such a bad thing and it might be an easy way to start. So wherever you are this week, I hope you're having a great week. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. And um, I wish you nothing but peace and love as you're preparing for this holiday season. And I had a very transformative uh, personal experience this weekend that has just given me a lot of um, light and hope. And I wish the same for all of you this week.